on News 5, we want to share the fruits of your labor after so many of you stepped up to help ensure the safety of our community's first responders, a part of our Shield 616 campaign. Our Ira Cronin is live in Black Forest with just what your dollars are going towards, Ira. Thank you, Allison. And yeah, I can tell Mike it's a little chilly here in Black Forest. It's nice and sunny still, but it won't be that way for long. But yes, it's been a long journey for uh, KOAA News 5, our viewers in Shield 616. Part of our goal for this year's border to border bicycle ride was to outfit this department, the Black Forest Fire and Rescue Department with the 21 kits that they needed, ballistics, vests and helmets, rifle rated, all day protection. And I wanna bring in Mr. Rob Haddock, who's joining us live and we're doing everything safely. So he's from a distance from me. Thank you for being here, Rob. Pleasure to be here. Thanks yeah, for having Rob me. Rob is the president and the CEO of S5. You're a global company. You're based here in Black Forest. Your family's been here for a long time. Back in uh, August, when you heard we were doing this, you stepped forward and Jake Skifstad has the check that you generously donated. You told me you wanted to get our fundraising efforts off to the right foot, $10,000. Thank you so much again for, for leading the way for your community. But talk about we're here full circle now tonight and what this means to you. Well, to say it's gratifying would be an understatement, Ira, but you know, these guys represented by this gear you see here, they step in harm's way almost on a daily basis to protect us. And I'm part of us because I've been in Black Forest for almost 50 years now and I've got kin folks numbering 18 or 20 that are scattered all over the forest. So it's very much us. We're, we're hoping to build our office not, not more than a mile and a half from the location where we are. So yep. it is a very personal thing to me. But beyond that, these guys protect us every day, all day, and they're the first responders. And it was a small thing that I could do. I consider it a small thing. You know, when my nephew overturned a ATV about a year and a half ago, it was Black Forest Fire and Rescue that responded. And they were, they were on site in the middle of a whiteout blizzard trying to resuscitate my nephew yeah and so i feel we as residents of black forest owe a debt of gratitude and me personally to this department that can never be repaid yeah well so what i did was a small thing well it was a big big thing to get us started and coming up at 4 30 as we get ready to send it back to you in the studio we will be making this presentation and you know the the incident that Rob talked about with his grandson, they, that's the thing. These guys will respond to any incident, whether it was an active shooter or a fire or a rolled ATV. And at 430, well, along with Shield 616, we're going to present these vests. Reporting live in Black Forest, I'm Ira Cronin for News 5.